Hey guys, and welcome back to LPL TLDR, the show built to condense the weekly chaos of the LPL into one neat, tidy package. And with that, let's jump straight into week five. isn't getting any easier for LGD. 0-5 to start to split, as Suni continued to be consistently inconsistent in getting the win on the day. Waiting for the correct opportunity to actually be able to end the game. Uh, last two series, Angel has ended up as Hagar. On. <laughs> on, that was not the play. He gets away. The shield comes through at the last second. SFM now gets to charge him with this kind of barrage. Bin is here as well. Kramer has to jump away to dodge away from the damage from Bin. That is not fair. Not even Zaya can survive that one. One fun with killer instinct. Wait for the op correct opportunity. The opportunity is now, though. Uniboy trying to escape, but there's nothing you can do to run away from this one. SFM trying to chase down the, fast, Quay. the, fast. the battle from the junglers, but he can't go onto the fountain. What a series to end the first half of the LPL Spring Split. Both teams leaving everything on the rift, but RNG took the Spring Gala win after a slugfest of a series. We gotta keep our eyes on Wink though, Hysterics, he's the big carry. Well, the base is getting torn in the meanwhile though, Shun needs to smite this down, getting Ocean Soul for IG would be big. No, stolen again! Wade just comes into Shao Hu, hits the four-man ulti. Wink's gonna go down. The Shine rookie at the back of the pit and RNG are high-tailing it for a series win. And we've seen Wade's consistently been the best more clutch slap, Best slap, best slap, best slap down. That's all you need to do, rookie in the shy. Can't back in time. Shao Hu and Gala over the wall. Teleport being used as well. Four versus two, and this is a light pack. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a racist there. It's going to do- Shot break gets two and Bo's kablam! It's over! RNG 2-1 just like that. Evictus Gaming sent to the bin. BLG had the power of God and anime on their side, delivering RNG their first loss of the split. Their team is strongest. They're actually catching Shao Oh no, Shao has been caught again. Has to flash away. Gets reinforcements from Brian. In goes away to try and save his team. Aegis Salt does a lot. There's a triple pulverize, but... It's not enough, there's no follow-up, there's no damage. Gala wasn't there just yet. Now BLG try and collapse for more, but Gala is here now. The Blade Caller could be huge if he can just survive for now, but Zeke has got a stopwatch and he keeps himself safe. Aiming can dive on in, spin around with the Inferno Trigger and set RNG ablaze. Rare Adam get their first back-to-back -back win as WE suffer back-to-back -back losses that uh, used to exist in the game. It used to reduce a target's mobility or uh, ability power and attack damage by 70%, but I cannot talk about that right now. As Missing goes in and Missing misses. Nope. And he actually gets deleted before the showstopper can start everything off. WE panicking on the ramp towards Baron Pit, and that has just punished them so hard. Full reign now for the side of RA on this Baron. <laughs> Six and zero as the high-flying EDG keeps on soaring. Scout trying to just dissuade Weiwei from going any further on top of Flandre. You cannot give this up if you're EDG. Look at the summoners. They have got pretty much everything up. They've got all the important flashes on their carries, and they've got themselves three items on the Orianna. That shockwave will be massive if they can land it. Flash from Scout, that's now down. They have to dis disengage. They have Mole on the backside who TP'd in, and Flandre will go mega just before he gets taken down. They have got the hero's entrance to try and keep Wei alive, and Flandre Andre will be dropped. They still have the shockwave available, but they're just being chased down. They're being chased back towards their base. Mako has respawned. Mako is still here as he keeps going in. The shockwave is almost just up. Devin got a two-man shockwave. So Scout's able to pick up two. That's very, very important to get the 280 carries. He goes golden. Now Viper might try and go for the fight. Killer Instinct, he picks up another. It ends up being a three for three. EDG have brought it back from the brink as Viper and Scout step up. Two T's and Thunder Talk and two wins on the board after a tit for tat series versus E Star. They get all of their ultimate cooldowns back up, so they're gonna start right again. Chalitza is very close to Meganar and he's Tag, holding 5k, 3k, Shouse into the pit. We wanna steal to see the game oh. go on, but no, it goes over to TT in the end, and they're healthy enough. Running into Irma, the flash burn, Rat goes into the back line, and it feels like he's been trying to carry this one. Hacker knocked up, and that's all she wrote, folks. Put it in the too hard basket for E Star as TT will just take their names. 
a much needed win for JDG as Rogue Warriors continue to flop aimlessly at the bottom of the pack. It's, it's why Loken loves this champ and he's feeling pretty comfortable right now. And Haro, I'm not sure if you want to be here. Facebreaker brings him in. He doesn't have Ragnarok. Haro is dead. And the kill's unfortunately going to go over Lumao, but he got TP's in for it. Oh, okay, Zoom. Is he going to die? He's going to go to Mega Nile. That one misses from Ziv. And unfortunate opportunity because the rest of RW coming down now. Lumao on the chase. Michi, you must run. True Shot Barrage. That hurt quite a lot. Cho -cho? And you have to ult oh. to get away from that one. Another oh no. Flash too. Oh, Shockwave. Oh no. Well, that was kind of anti synergy from Lumao, but Zoom still gets the kill. Are IG good? Bad? I don't know, but they're nothing if not entertaining to watch. Great movie. But Matt Damon should never be allowed to voice act. My god, oh, really? I did not realize how terrible that was. Oh, the hope. Would, you, would you say that he's a rookie? Because rookie's been caught <laughs> out right now. Uh, I'd say that. Maybe he caught them because he's baited them all into it. Beautiful <laughs> combo from Lucas. And Aki thought he'd escaped, but Wink was just waiting for him. He's a bear hunter. Brings him down with the blade whirl. <laughs> seems to be fitting in quite well as FBX adds another win to their hot streak. This is the LNG that we wanted to see. They are 4-1 and one in the standings for a reason. This is a top team and they're proving it here against FBX. The Baron has been started as LWX looking for damage onto life. But the rest of the squad's going to jump on in. LWX has gone too deep on there. Somebody survives for now. The shield's coming on through. Inferno trigger. It's only on to Makuya though. Not too much damage done just yet. Keep your eyes on LWX. He is everything for FBX right now. As the fight ensues, Nuggery is there, but the kills are coming in. Inferno trigger for the double. LWX pops off once more. Icon tries to escape, but he's blasted out of infinity, and it's a triple for LWX. Praise be the gods, LGD have finally found some steam and got their first win of the season locked and loaded. So, but hey, you're right, actually, LGD, I guess, are going to go for some. Oh I, my god, I they got, got it. it. Oh <laughs> my god, they got it. In comes Pantheon with the ceaseless hunger. Twilight flashes away immediately. Call the Forge God did a little bit as the Lilting Lullaby hits on the cult, but LGD, they have Kramer and half health is hitting away. Low health bars, they have Elder, and they're gonna lose the game, Lyric, because Sandy's the only one left alive. That's what happens when you lose the Elder Dragon, and your Bane gets the free hit along with the Quadra Kill. Go to Uni Boy. Insert witty comment about Clear Love and the number seven here as EVG stay undefeated into the lunar break. Group is five themselves, and you said to watch Scout, he's at the back. Scout and Mako. Mako also can find a massive engage if he can get a nice headbutt. Pulverize. Ooh! Explosive cast. They're going for the engage. Mako's into the back. Dragon secured by Jeje. They have Ocean Salt. EG, it's not a drill. As they get a three-man Pulverize, it's a great one from Angel. But the problem is, Soul was given over. Bin in the middle. Just going to be taken down by Viper. And it's easy as that when you get all four of those beautiful dragons. No team will be winless this split as OMG snag a surprise victory from the hands of BLG. They want the fight. Here we go. They're going to jump in straight away. They're going to get a two-man knockup. There goes Biu Biu. There goes Jayway. They do lose well in the process, but no one able to get on top of Eric. Eric taking both turrets aggro, though, so brings them down. Oh. They're going to go in with the Killer Instinct. He's going to try and go for something here. Eric will not fall, though, and this should be the game for OMG. They have finally done it. The monkey's off their back. They will take their first series win in the spring split of 2021. <laughs> JDG are going to the moon, while WE seem to be plummeting into ELO hell with a third successive loss. Here we go. Shanks picked off already. JDG starting to fight off well. Bay Shanks in trouble. Has the Sterex. Has a lot of his sustained, but he goes down anyway. Now missing falls. Breathe is alone. Jomong chased out by Lumao. Breathe's in the Baron Pit. He's in the back of the Baron Pit being bullied by the Purple Worm. Jomong knows he can't go anywhere. <laughs> Much like their name suggests, we are witnessing FBX rise from the ashes of 2020 and burning with a new desire in 2021. He is consistently performing on this new FBX roster. And Jackie Love is not, as he's way overstepped, but Drove is here to keep him alive. Try and pull him out of the fight, but LWX <laughs> and Bo, 
The damage is unbelievable. And Do and B's found the flank as well. I said that you can't count them out. You very much can, ladies and gentlemen, because they're gone. Another clean ace and an easy series for FPX. A solid win to end the first half for Rare Atom, which also gives them their first positive win rate of the split. The Ube is not allowing that one to happen now. Dragon has been started. The mid lane is pushing in. Teleports are available, so there could be a back door. Here we go. There's the explosive cast. They find out Iwandi, but that is not the target you need. They get the knock up. They get the kill down onto Leanne. There is no more jungler there. Oh, right, boy gets jumped on with the onslaught of shadows. Icon is there. He's trying to see if he can get any more of an angle going. Oh, boy is fearless. Oh, boy jumps in, and oh, boy jumps out and jumps again. They've got everything. They don't need the dragon. This is what I was talking about. The mid lane is being pushed in by the super minions. They can. TP in. Fofo can just play keep away and RA will take this game. The cracks in the holy armor of V5 are showing, but not breaking. Wing keeps their heads above water for now. There is a level advantage for Weiwei and Hacker. Lungxing going in, doing his duty, trying to get into the back line. They've found Irma. Can he shuffle in time? He's stunned up to death. As Hacker now has the Ragnarok, all five members of V5 are chasing him down the distance there. The damage as well. Phoenix boy ready to take him down and Dumbledore would be so proud. A double kill over to V5's mole. And now they have a three versus five to hit Baron or run it through mid. Looking at the standing, it's still EDG, FBX, and RNG flying high with a chunk of the mid table only separated by one series. And remember, if you miss any of the action, sure pop back here to see what you missed. Slauncher.